Every once in a while, I do something that I, I really want to share with you guys. I've done bits and pieces of this before, but I'm showing it to you now inside a song, and I think that this is a pretty cool thing that might inspire you to try some new ideas with the same concept. This is one of my favorite groups called Arizona. They're a feature with uh, one of my favorite DJs, Don Diablo, uh, from Holland. This song's doing pretty well. It's called Take Her Place. I only listened to this song two million times. Uh, it's on Spotify. It's doing real well. Now, what I wanted to do was I had a bass sound, and this is the this is this essentially the bass sound that I had. Pretty cool, real cool, extremely cool. Don's brilliant, brilliant producer, but I wanted to, I wanted a little attitude, so I took a an Ottawa that I've had for probably 40 years. The settings that you see on it are the settings that uh, I actually used. And I recorded this. You can't listen to that without your mouth moving. You, like, you, you, you go. It's so weird, you have to do that. And, and to make matters, I don't know, better or worse, this is actually a comp. So these pink pieces, we actually recorded three versions of it because the wah is triggering different at different times. And so I wanted dun 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 and, 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 and so sometimes I didn't get it. Here's another one. You know what I'm saying? We recorded these so that we could find different ones and some of these are from here and they're all mixed up. Now, how does that fit with, with the, the original uh, bass line? Check this out. That's pretty cool. So did a little bit of EQ, took off a little bit of top, and then uh, one of my favorite plugins, uh, Gr you know, Greg and the boys over at Kush Audio. This thing's so cool. In the track, this is what you got. <laughs> Right off camera, you can't see Changor dancing. So guys, as always, you don't have to use a wah-wah pedal. Sometimes you might want to use a, an envelope follower, or sometimes you might want to use a distortion pedal. One of my favorite ones is this DOD envelope follower. I use this on a lot of big records. So the way I run it is I use the Radial Engineering EXTC. It's great for getting in and out of a DAW, but uh, experiment and you'll find a lot of uses for guitar pedals, especially with bass. See you next time. Adios.